Disney Curl back for another episode of my Disney's Magic Kingdoms game. In my last video, we brought Anastasia into the kingdom. So now I have got all three of the brand new Cinderella characters that Disney Magic Kingdoms released in their last update. So I've got Lady Tremaine, who was a paid character. We got Anastasia in the last video. And then before that, we got Drizella. So I'm very excited to continue with the storyline and get lots more dialogue from these awesome new characters. It's so exciting. Uh, now, speaking of exciting, I have to say that I'm excited to continue the Wreck-It Ralph storyline, so I'm hoping that we can continue to do that by leveling up Calhoun. Lady Tremaine, it seems gentlewomen of good family are also unwelcome at the royal promenade. Judging by the mud, the royal carriage horses positively went out of their way to splash on me. At any rate, I have more pressing concerns. A dress that needs laundering for one. Quest complete, see and be seen. I'll not do it myself, that's for certain. Oh, she's so scary. Okay, so that is it, really? No more dialogue for Lady Tremaine? I love Lady Tremaine, come on, give us some more. I know, I gotta level her up more and kinda continue with the storyline with Anastasia and Drizella. Actually, we haven't had any dialogue really between Lady Tremaine and her daughters yet, so I'm pretty sure that's gonna be coming at some point. She's gonna be scolding them or something, so I guess we'll just sort of have to wait and see. Now, if you guys saw my Welcome Captain Barbosa video, you guys will know that we had started the storyline, and I believe that uh, started that next sort of section, uh, I guess I should be saying, a pirate storyline so obviously the first section of storyline it has to do with Will Turner, Elizabeth Swan. Also, if you purchase Jack Sparrow, he's included in that. And if you get Davy Jones from the Platinum Chest, then obviously he is included in that. Um, so once you sort of complete that whole storyline and also as your kingdom gets bigger, you can unlock uh, Captain Barbosa and stuff like that. So I'm very excited that I've been able to welcome him into the kingdom. And I do believe it does expand the kingdom at some point. And we did have some dialogue, I believe, in Anastasia's video that we actually got the hint that we were going to be expanding and getting some new land. Another section of new land. Could you believe that? So I guess we're going to find out. I'm hoping today, but that's what I'm hoping for. Calhoun is back in the kingdom and she is now level six. This just got interesting. All right, more dialogue. One, two, three, surprise! Gah, Cybugs, you won't take me alive, you filthy abominations. Yippee! For pie's sake, Tammy, it's just me. It's our anniversary today, remember? Oh, um, sorry, partner. Force of habit. Uh, as you were, then. Friendly AI, send Calhoun and fix it, Felix, to have a moment. Okay, I kind of have to read through all the dot whatevers. <laughs> it's sometimes it's tricky to actually read because of all that. So, I'm working on it. So that's gonna be 12 hours for those two to do. Oh my goodness, so long. And we've got here Anastasia and Drizella. They are arguing right now. Yeah, it looks kind of weird since they're so far apart, and it looks like a bit of a glitch, but I don't know. Maybe when I reload my game, they'll come back together. But anyways, here is Captain Barbosa, and whoa, Merlin! Oh my gosh, guys! We have gotten rid of the Vortex by Mother Goggle. Incredible, that gate. I'd never even noticed it before, but it's opening. Barbosa was true to his word after all. Though I notice he's not returned to tell me so himself. He's most likely run off to find his ship before I can. Well, two can play at that game. 
three, counting Elizabeth. If it's a race you want, Barbosa, it's a race you'll get. Quest complete, adventure beckons. I hope Elizabeth has had good luck finding Calypso. That could be just the advantage we need. What? Are we unlocking Calypso soon? Oh my goodness, not right now, please. Well, what are you waiting for? The gate has opened and a new land awaits you. A land that I'm sure will have far less curse darkening it once you've worked your magic. Beyond the horizon, this is a kingdom quest. Expand the kingdom. Oh my goodness, for 350,000, really? They're just taking all my magic. Ah, okay, well, I guess I should be grateful it's not like 4 million or something like that. All the other land slots, though, are coming soon, so this is really the only one that technically we can purchase. So, 350,000. Uh, guys, we have to do it. It's worth it. I have the magic. It's just saying goodbye to all that magic is very difficult for me sometimes. I have worked so hard. <laughs> no. Come back, magic. I still have like over 450,000, but still, still it hurts when the magic leaves you. I think the most painful experience was the three million land slot when that left. I was so excited though, I didn't feel the pain, but this I'm really feeling it. This I'm really feeling it. But anyways, seeing your magic and stuff like that when you've spent millions of magic is just super hard when you log in like the next day you're like, Wow, guys, this is depressing. <laughs> Where did all the magic go that I worked for? Oh well. Speaking of more magic going, leveling up Ursula, almost 20,000 magic that's gonna cost me, which is absolutely brutal. But you know what? Totally worth it because I wanna start collecting for the Little Mermaid character tokens and stuff like that again. Now I know you guys might be like, oh, we can't collect all of them, but at the same time, we can at least start collecting those seashells and stuff, which you need so many of. So it just starts that whole process all over again. So I'm not complaining about that, whatever. I'm leveling her up and it's kind of fun because I, I love her welcome screen. Her welcome screen is super, super cool and we haven't seen it in the kingdom in quite a while now so it will be nice to see her again. Um, now, so we've got the land going. 12 hours, we've got to wait for that. Now I've got a whole bunch of land there to do still and I've got to unlock, um, yeah, Thunder Mountain and then more land around that. There's not that much more to do but it just, I've got to fill the space up, but I was waiting for the Jungle Book stuff, but now I'm debating on whether I actually should be waiting or just decorate it as it is and fill it up to get more magic. I don't know what to do, guys. It's just, I've had a lot going on with this kingdom lately, as you've seen from my videos. So much is happening. It's just like, all at once, we've got the Jungle Book and more of the Pirates of the Caribbean. I mean, I love it, but it's like, holy intense. Just don't add another event because I gotta stop then working on my main storyline. But anyways, that is everything I'm gonna be doing in this video for my kingdom. So I know it sounds like I'm a little bit overwhelmed, but I am a little bit overwhelmed when you think about it. Just lots of stuff to do in the kingdom starting with waiting for that new land. So maybe in the next video, it depends on when I do it. I'm expecting that there's going to be another leaderboard event soon. So if there is, then that will, yeah, I'll, that will be the next video. That'll be based around that. So it might have to be a little bit earlier than the land is actually ready. So we'll just sort of wait and see, guys. I will keep you posted on that. So thanks for watching another Disney Girls Disney's Magic Kingdoms game video. Make sure you guys give this video a big Mickey thumbs up to show your support. Subscribe and hit the little bell for post notifications. Also, share it with your friends if you love Disney's Magic Kingdoms. And we will see you guys for the next video. Bye.